Hello guys, full time at Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal 2. Do you know what? I do think as a performance and as a game, this wasn't that different to the opening day last season where Arsenal were away at Brentford. Um, there were things they did well, things they did less well, but they got the breaks this time. That was the big difference. Uh, they got the breaks in the penalty boxes, a goal from a set piece, Gabriel Martinelli, well worked corner, Saka's cross to the back post, Inchenko back across goal, and Martinelli, poacher's instinct, nodding it over the line, and then an own goal after more good work from Saka on the right hand side, sealing it late on. And in the other box too, there were some big moments, interventions from Ramsdale and Saliba. Ramsdale made a couple of really good saves, Saliba some excellent tackles. They were probably the standout Arsenal players on the night, which tells you this was not as straightforward as we might have hoped. This was not what it looked like it might be in the opening 20 minutes when Arsenal were playing some flowing football, really impressive stuff. Palace couldn't live with the intensity, but they came back into the game in a big way. They changed things around a bit. They were quicker to the ball. Uh, they flooded back in more numbers when Arsenal broke on them. They stopped trying to play out from the back quite so much, which was playing into Arsenal's press. And they got a foothold in the game. And from that foothold, they built and they built and there were some nervy moments back there. But in the end, Arsenal had enough. And it's a fantastic feeling to start the season with three points, top of the league. Listen, we'll take it. Um, it's certainly a lot better than how we were feeling 12 months ago. Interesting points to make on the night. Well, the defensive unit was as we expected, white at right back. That was something Palace looked to exploit. Long balls over the top to Zaha. I thought white... He had a tough task there. He's not naturally a right back, and Zaha is sort of the, the kind of nightmare player you could be up against in that position. He was booked on the night, but ultimately, Arsenal did win that battle in no small part thanks to Saliba, who was stepping in and helping when required. Such a physical player, such a big unit. Um, he underpinned this Arsenal performance. I thought, you know, shaky moments from Gabriel. Saliba was consistently excellent. And I think the changes were important too. We went a long time, 80 minutes pretty much, without making a single one of our five changes. Then they came, Tierney came on for Zinchenko, who obviously, again, like White, he is a fullback, but he's not a guy you want to be in a one-on-one -on -one race in the wide areas in his own third. Tierney came on, and Nketiah came on for Jesus, which was a bit surprising, thought he might come on for Martinelli, with Jesus switching out wide. And that breathed life into Arsenal. I thought Eddie was really good, really sharp. Tierney's energy and defensive instincts were important. And that led to Arsenal getting the second goal, which ultimately was good enough to get them the win. Um, listen, every Arsenal fan will take that. And I think it showed the step up in level from a pre-season game to a Premier League game. You know, Arsenal did not have the dominance here they did against Sevilla or even against Chelsea. Palace were very much in this. And on another night, perhaps it could have gone another way. Lessons to be learned. And I think you probably want that early on in the season. Um, but crucially, uh, three points on the board and that will be fantastic for the players' confidence a home game to come as well I know the fans are going to be buzzing about that um, and as for Gabriel Jesus I'm just watching because William Saliba's just in the background behind me doing some press um, I think for Arsenal.com he was the man of the match according to Sky tonight fair play on his Premier League debut we waited a long time to see it and I think he he fared really well um, so what else to say? Not much really. First half, first 20 minutes were excellent. Maintaining it is always the problem. There was kind of this myth last season, it was like uh, where fans would say, why does Arteta tell them to sit off after 20 minutes or after the first goal or after the first half? And I think, you know, the little bits and pieces we're seeing from inside the dressing room in All or Nothing are telling us it's not really something a manager asks for, it's something that happens. Uh, it's rarely part of the plan. The plan is to play like Arsenal did for the 20 minutes for as long as possible to maintain that pressure, that possession, crucially to be in the opponent's half. And I think the setup of this team now is intended to allow us to be in the opponent's half. Anyway, three points. I'm back uh, doing these videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to watch them all ahead of the new season. There's the players doing a warm down. And I'll speak to you all soon, next week, after Leicester. Bye-bye.